Hello friends and welcome back to Saucer Swap. This video is part two in our DEX tutorial series where we cover some key features of our protocol. Last time, we discussed the creation of liquidity pools and provision of liquidity to existing pools. Today, we'll demonstrate how to swap tokens. Let's jump in. Here we are on the swap page of SaucerSwap. To start, let's navigate to the top right of the nav bar and click Connect Wallet. This will open a window that prompts you to connect your wallet with SaucerSwap via HashConnect. There are three options, the button, the pairing string, and the QR code. I'll use the button. I'm going to select my wallet and approve the connection. Now that I'm connected, the next step is to make sure that I have some HBAR to cover gas fees, as well as some tokens, coins, or stable coins that I'd like to swap. Today, I want to swap HBAR for JAM. I have a sufficient balance of HBAR, so I'm all set to get started. In the user interface, I'll select token A and choose HBAR. As with the liquidity page discussed in the last video, if I don't see the token I want to swap in the menu, I can input the token ID. Next, I'll select token B and choose Jam. Now I have to enter some values. I can enter the amount of HBAR I would like to swap for Jam by entering a value in this upper field. The estimated amount of Jam I will receive is automatically calculated, determined by the ratio of the pool. Alternatively, I can enter the amount of jam I would like to receive by entering a value in this lower field. The amount of HBAR I will swap is automatically calculated by the same ratio. I'll swap 100 HBAR for jam. If I haven't yet associated the token I'd like to receive, I'll be prompted to do so at the bottom of the interface. Here, I'll click Associate Jam Token and then approve the transaction in my hash pack. Great, JAM has been associated. The last step before submitting my transaction is to set my slippage tolerance by clicking on the pencil icon next to slippage. As a reminder, a low value ensures the price at the confirmation time closely matches the actual price of the transaction. Although this comes at the risk of my transaction failing, a higher value increases the likelihood of my transaction succeeding, at the risk of a discrepancy between these prices. I will set my slippage tolerance to 0.75%. Now I'm all set to swap HBAR for JAM. Let's navigate to the bottom and submit the transaction to the network. When I do so, I will be prompted to approve the transaction in my hash pack. I'm going to approve it and I'll see on the site that my transaction has succeeded. I can verify this in my hash pack. Here, I can see that my HBAR balance has decreased and my JAM balance has increased. Next, I'd like to show you a very exciting feature that makes SaucerSwap a robust DEX, and that is multi-hopping. Let's say that I would like to swap token A for token C but there is no token A slash token C liquidity pool. If there exists a token A slash token B liquidity pool and a token B slash token C liquidity pool, the protocol will intelligently call the appropriate contracts to multi-hop between liquidity pools so that I can trade token A for token C. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to select token A and choose Shebar. Next, I'm going to select token B and choose Seeky. Even though a Shebar slash Seeky liquidity pool does not exist, the protocol has found an appropriate route to facilitate my trade. This is a powerful tool. Let's see it in action. I am going to enter 100 Shebar in the upper field here. The estimated amount of Seeky I will receive is automatically populated in the lower field. I'm going to leave my slippage at the default value of 0.5%. Here, we can see that the trade is being routed through Shebar slash USDC and Seeky slash USDC pools. Let's confirm the swap. Once again, I'll be prompted to approve a transaction in my hash pack. 
Let's approve it. The transaction has succeeded. I have swapped Shibar for Seeky, even though no Shibar slash Seeky liquidity pool exists. Multi-hopping significantly increases the breadth of liquidity on the protocol, resulting in the most seamless user experience on Hedera. Have a question? Join an active community of Hedera DeFi enthusiasts by multi-hopping into our Discord server. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter at SaucerSwap Labs for more updates. Until next time, kind regards from your friends at SaucerSwap.